Well, good morning, everybody. May the Lord richly bless you all. Um, of course, Christmas is coming up very soon. And, of course, um, the hustle and bustle of the holidays, getting to where we need to go and buy this and buy that and all this, you know, it's, it's a hectic time. But let us not forget the reason for the season. The whole reason that we celebrate Christmas is our way of thanking God for sending His Son for us. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. And it goes on to say that by Him, the Word, all things were created. All things and it also goes on to say that the Word became flesh and dwelt among men. There's a reason for that. And of course, a lot of people miss it. It becomes a holiday of tradition where everybody under the sun, from pagans, you name it, celebrate it. And miss the entire point behind it. You know, the whole reason Jesus Christ came was to die on the cross and pay for your debt and my debt. The Bible says, for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. But the gift of life is in Jesus Christ our Lord. His blood shed on the cross is what pays for our sin. God became a man. It's not to be taken lightly. You know, people go to church to play religion. Let me tell you something. Nothing sends you to hell quicker than religion. You cannot earn your way to heaven. It is impossible. In fact, the Bible makes it clear that if you try to earn your way to heaven, you're a robber and a thief. Jesus paid it all but by trusting in him for your salvation, turning to him. Your salvation is secure. He paid it all. The Bible said he became sin for us. One who know, knew no sin at all. He knew no sin. He became sin for us. You know very well. God is calling you and he's talking to your heart. You know God's word, the Bible, is true. You know you've been running from the Lord. Why? Because there's power in God's word. I can sit here, I can talk to you all day long about Mohammed, Buddha, Confucius. I can talk to you about all sorts of historic figures. There's no power in that, but there's something about Jesus. There's power in his name and there's power in the blood. Demons tremble. Demons tremble. Yes, they do. And you tremble too. I tremble too when I heard the word first because I was in sin. When I heard the preacher preaching, the Holy Spirit came out and convicted me. And yeah, I got mad at first. And it took a while before I realized it was the Lord calling me. So you ever wonder why people get mad? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the Holy Spirit is convicting them. Oh, preacher, you're just full of it now. You think you're just better than everybody else. No, I don't. <laughs> the rules apply to me, too. In fact, I got a lot more I got to answer, to, Because I got to tell you the truth of what's written in God's holy word, the Bible. Friend, let me tell you something. God's only going to ask you one question. What did you do with my son who I sent to earth to die on the cross to pay for your sin debt? Did you receive him or did you reject him? Friend, let me tell you, if you ain't figured it out time you're there, it's too late. The Bible says now is the time for salvation. Not tomorrow, now. Call upon the name of the Lord. 
I don't care what your situation is. There is no sin that God can't forgive you for. The only sin that's unforgivable is if you die without Him. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ today for your salvation. Call out on His name right now. Call upon His name. Say, Lord Jesus, save me. Come into my heart. Change me. I'll live for you best I can. That's all you can do. Because when the Lord comes inside you, the Holy Spirit comes inside you, He changes you. You can't do anything apart from the Lord. I can't. None of us can. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation before it's too late. Don't die without Him, friend. I'd rather listen to me, friend. I'd rather you hate my guts now. Call me every dirty name in the book. I'd rather you hate me now than look up into hell, sitting in hell, asking me, preacher, why didn't you tell me about Jesus? Why didn't you tell me? For me to say, oh, I didn't want to offend you. Hell is real. Hell is real, people. Trust the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way. May God bless you all. Peace.